السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته it is the 31st of May it's like for some almost 5 o'clock 4.45 a.m. and uh, I went to my no two hours sleep. Uh, Hamza, I made a video for him yesterday morning. I just had a dream <laughs> that I seen pictures of well not the dream this is real I seen pictures of uh, Mona Omar Hannah Suzanne and Sumaya when they were really supposed to burn the ashes supposedly of my son burn his you know cremate him and uh, Elijah and Mariah then there is no contact whatsoever from Sumaya and Suzanne on Facebook my brother I saw him shall we <laughs> he's friend with and Susie and of course as is the one that got with Bill and uh, Omar and Hamza before one of two again whether he is somewhere or he is murdered one of two and again and nobody is you know raised friends his mates his car his uh, phone uh, nothing Abu Abdullah and Al Khatib uh, the Islamic uh, American Muslim Palmdale whatever and Ali um, Abu, you know all of these uh, and Sheikh uh, Muslim al Siddiqi supposedly everyone everyone is working together and then they said that who did what and when the dream I was somewhere and I saw Suzanne and Sumaya and I said why how come you're not calling me or anything and he said Baba we knew that you are in jail or in prison we didn't know that you are uh, you know Omar was there Mona Anna and this time it was some members of my own family like my brother or I saw him and his and they all wanted me to sign uh, I said I'm leaving the you know the they try to some kind of 
you know, provoke me so I can, you know, get in a fight with someone and, you know, they have a reason to, that's a dream again. And then I got out and uh, someone followed me. And he said, oh, you have to sign some release, some paperwork. I said, I ain't going to sign nothing. Like what they did when f supposedly the funeral of Jennifer. Went to there. My kids were all, they knew exactly. So the car was in that they wanted to come with me to uh, <laughs> attend the barrier or the funeral of uh, Jennifer it was all to set me up as they did in 2009 it wasn't a random thing it was all plotted and well planned and uh, everybody was involved again everyone there was no I don't have any doubt in my mind and the FBI should know that Then they have someone following me to sign this release of some. So Suzanne and Sumaya, the two minors, won't get any inheritance. And then I met someone pretendingly he is the one that the adjuster on or yeah the, the it's like the lawyer for the trust fund or the inheritance or the documentation I don't know what they call it like the state or and he told me that I wrote some in Facebook and I need to see, sign it that I don't want anything and what have you and I said I'll sign it but I won't sign for my own social security that my children are getting denied of and someone is trying to keep them until the 18 to get their social security and also the money from their mother the social security from their mother but the inheritance, this is blood money, you guys all enjoy it. I will sign that, but I will not sign the rights of my own social security. And then I've been running all during the dream, trying to get away from these people. I supposedly have a, a video for one of the people that they were chasing me, and I said, smile, you are in Canada, camera, <laughs> what have you. It is very disturbing. It is very evil. And that's what has been going on. It's no one wanted to say anything. It's hush, hush, hush. And uh, there is no pictures. I, I know that pictures can be made and corrupted and fabricated by the um, shooting of San Bernardino everything was anyway it is very it's evil it's evil but what they don't know la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah there is nothing is going to happen except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already decreed for all of us. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And uh, for my children, Anyway, my children are 
been victimized since birth, all of them. All of them. Mona. Opportunity or test, 99.9, and I have not seen anything less than that. Even in Jerry Springer, or whatever it is, or, you know, not the father thing, or they are the father. Um, I used to do hard copy a long time ago. Uh, there was an ex party done when she was like three months old. To be supposedly, I was the father, and I had an attorney. I paid a lawyer, Mr. Anger Douglas Anger. He still practice law in a family court in uh, County Orange. Okay. So, 14 years old, I went to there and uh, Belleville. I don't know, I know they her back, I was working, and it just started at uh, Fairway Fort, from Person Fort. Everything, everything seemed like, I remember everything vividly. And um, everything should be documented. Hasbunallah na'mal wakil. Hasbunallah or Allah na'mal wakil. Because I have no, I don't trust the judicial system. I don't trust the government. I don't trust the, the Muslims, uh, you know, institute of whatever, the blood orgs, the care, the, the, all of the, criminals that they allow this, these crimes to happen, not to Muhammad Shibam only, but to everyone. Everyone is a systematic victimization of the masses to keep them in a status quo and continue to commit the crimes against them as an account, revolving account. And the whole thing is for corporate America to Rob and fraud and drug every crime, every crime is justified. Financial system is all messed up, it's all haram, it's all riba, it's all fraud. Drug in their youth and taking taking their opportunities away. They have no other choice but to be boys, be, become drug dealers and pimps. <laughs> and girls prostitute themselves and also get addicted. 99.9% .9 of our children are infected with some kind of a drug or alcohol. That's it. Once you give them that, that's why they drug them, antidepressant, and all, you know, when they favor melatonin or melatonin. since early age. They have no other choice. And then they ask you who did what and when. And the Rahib them and if they get a green card, everyone wants a green card. Everyone wants a green card. 
for him, for her, and for the children that they weren't born in here. Hasbunallah wa na'ma al-wakil. Hasbunallah wa na'ma al-wakil. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I just want to do this video before uh, I forget about my dream. It is it's not disturbing, but it's, it's just seeing a lot of the truth. truth. Where is now? Where is Suzanne, Sumaya, and Matthew? And yes, me. Where are they? Where are my children? Where are my children? <laughs> if that's what you do to place everyone in the system in a, there are accounts state of South Carolina County of Ederson owns Suzanne Aliya Muhammad Shaban and Sumaya Jennifer Muhammad Chaban and the County of Orange, California. No, County of LA now. <laughs> Sorry. County of LA, California owns Matthew Muhammad Chaban and Yasmin Muhammad Chaban. Bottom line. County of Orange lost to the Suzanne and Sumaya. And they just to give up the fight. They sent me the letter real fast. <laughs> they probably have it ready before even, you know, whatever happened to Jennifer. They already have it printed and everything ready to go. They have it probably a couple, couple of years <laughs> before. Hasbunallah and Amal Wakil. Accounts to victimize and continue to commit the crimes and keeping them in the status quo, and they call us terrorists. a green card. Az Shawi, Asam Shawi, Belinda Garcia, everyone, everyone just doing anything for a green card. You know, 2000, 2000, a little bit before Mona, before I went to get Mona, I saw him, my brother, I saw him, Shaban. Came with my mom and my nephew, Molhem, no, Mo'min, Mo'min, the older one, the military guy, the officer, and the dentist. Jennifer was pregnant in Sumaya. Okay. And I thought, didn't think much of it. At the time, we were, I was working still person for the thing, or just maybe end of '99. Yeah. Before that, I went to San Francisco uh, to say hello to my mom, visit with my mom at my sister Ines. And Mulhem was here already at the Aiz, or Mu'min, at the Aiz house or something. And then after that, he stayed with us in that house, in the desert, Pinion house. Jennifer was pregnant. 
And then he works at the store where Jennifer used to go shopping and do gas and stuff, gas station. It's like a little store right on the highway. Strangely enough, Jennifer Haynes, I uh, should change her name after she got remarried to one of my friends on Facebook. That's when Jennifer disappeared right after that, beginning of 2001, took the kids and went to Barstool. I was looking at Facebook and I find Jennifer and Mo'me chatting on Facebook. Or they were, maybe they weren't talking to each other, but so I recollect it and I remember things. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable how our life is controlled and everything Everything that took place, every person that you meet, is not a random thing. Of course, Alhamdulillah, it's Qadha Allah. There is nothing there, they plot it and <laughs> they can't. It's Qadha Allah. But all of these things are happening. to have taqwa, we have to have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that we are going to die all of us and we and we taking one thing with us our deeds good or bad with us in the day of judgment that's it anyway I just wanted to document that because they say that I am not stable. <laughs> can't have my kids. I can't have anything. Can't have anything. I'm not stable. Well, wherever Hamza is, if he's gone, oh, the 29th, uh, we have a service for him. Hasbi Allah wa Na'mal Wakil. Hasbi Allah wa Na'mal Wakil. Anyway, another permit of injustice is still asking me did what and when Mr. Shubon was very concerned. Hasbi Allah wa Na'mal Wakil. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.